I know we're big fans of movies that we watched as kids. Yeah. Um, we talk a lot about them. Shout out to Casper um, mm-hmm. on the Patreon. Yeah. But like, I don't know how this came into my head, but I was, I proper thought about it, like a good 15 minutes of thinking about the plot line of Annie. Oh, it's It's cruel, very it? odd. Yeah, it's very cruel. Like, yeah. It's very odd. I didn't pay much attention. My cousins were mad about it back in the day and it was, I was like, tomorrow, tomorrow. You know, Always felt very uncomfortable. Don't really like a, a child singing anyway, so. Yeah, and then... I didn't watch it really. I didn't pay much attention to it when I was younger. And then I watched it as an adult and I was like, fuck. Because I watched the remake. I was like, this is... With Cameron Diaz as Mrs. Hannigan. Yeah. And who was the weird, who was the weird billionaire? I don't know. I love the way I said billionaire. He wasn't. He was just a rich man. Yeah. I just decided that. Yeah. Who was Jeff Bezos in that version? <laughs> I forgot all about that. Like, ending. So weird. Yeah. Did you... The whole thing. Yeah, it's strange. Like, who... It, it was years ago like it doesn't matter yeah do you know what i got a craving for today actually to what rewatch buffy like yes i did it i did it not too long ago and then did i kind of i did like three seasons and i was like okay yeah this has gone out of me now is it yeah this is a kink i don't need to revisit yeah i don't know what i want to do now i don't know what i want to rewatch sabrina teenage witch is another one I see oh, about, a lot be about. careful slippery slope why? Oh, there's so many remakes of it now, and there's loads of spin-offs and shit like that. Yeah, but also you start to watch it and you're like, "This is shit." Ah, oh, really? Yeah. And then, like, Melissa Joan Hart came out and said she never enjoyed filming it. Yeah. Which ruins everything for everybody. Yeah, that is that's difficult. Fuck you, Melissa Joan Hart. Hello and you are very welcome along to the Unpopular Opinion Podcast. My name is Jen. My name is Carla. And I'm still thinking about that plot line. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you threw me. I'm like, where am I? Yeah, no, it's a bit mad. Yeah. There's just, there's a couple of things that I find very uneasy about it. Like the way it portrays orphans, the way it portrays like foster care. Oh yeah, no. The I, way it portrays billionaires. Like, do you was know it, know was it Miss Hannigan a bit off the rails, wasn't she? Yeah, like mm. a kind of a bit of a lush. But yeah. they kind of never really Yeah. Like came out with it. No. Say what you mean, Annie. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't um she wasn't really well, like she did get her comeuppance in the end and she but it was like Oh uh, it Plus we were a bit fucking late. Like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they no. didn't get the gang in the van in no. quick enough. Yeah, no. <laughs> they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. They really didn't. And then the, the dog and everything. Was, the dog was a favourite part of that fucking What thing. was the dog? Did she bring a dog back and clean him up and all that? He was a little scruffy duffy dog. A bit oh like ourselves. All bit that. like us. Hmm? A bit like us. I could be completely wrong there. Oh, I need to correct actually... <laughs> We get messages during the week on the Instagram going, hey, you were wrong about this and you were wrong about that. Lads, we tell you this. (laughs) (laughs) This is what happened. So on last week's episode of the budget, I did say that there was a limit, the salary limit of 75 grand on the help to buy. It was the rebuild in Ireland. See, yeah. That's that's where I went wrong. I I got very fired up and I started mishmashing everything together. Apologies. I had the poxy government website open though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in fairness, you were like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Like you never knew it. And I was surprised at that. So. It's because you're wrong. It's because you were wrong. I should have known then and there that there was something yeah. amiss. There was something a little dodgy. A little dodgy. A little bit dodge. Yeah. Um, gang, how are you? If you enjoy her, <laughs> you know, we actually got quite a response to the budget episode. I'm, re- I'm shocked. shocked. I thought it was just going to be one of those ones where it was like, not them two gobshites talking about the budget, but... And it's the fact that it was on a Tuesday and the episode that got released on a Sunday, I was like, oh, is this going to be a bit of a dead thing? Yeah, is this going to land? Yeah. yeah, is this going to land? <laughs> it's going to be a dead thing. Dead thing. Yeah. Um, but thanks a million. If you want more of that, please join us over on Patreon for six euros a month. Six euros a month. Um, You can avail of five additional episodes. You get a fresh episode every single Monday. And then you get an additional episode at the first day of the month. 
Depending on when our guest is available. Depending on when <laughs> and if our guest is available. Yes. That is what you get. We've done loads of great things on there. Yeah, it's good crack. We did blind items, which... That did well as well. Yeah, people like. People yeah. like blind items. Um, We've we done did, lots of bits and bobs. We did red pill, blue pill last week and we got deep, didn't we? Yeah, well, we both kind of walked away from that. With different perspectives. Yeah, I think we were both a bit shook. And thank you to everybody who did listen to the episode for your kind words. Oh yeah Love y'all Carla's deep dive Did you see uh, Why I entitled it Yeah It was very funny Did Yeah thanks yeah. I And I was gonna Like message you But I think you were still I was like Oh no what if she's still A bit fragile about that So I'm not going to I'll just let her say it And she gets a little giggle Out of it I did it? I did I saw oh, That's good I saw it two days ago I think it was And I was like Oh you're so funny <laughs> Oh, that Jen. She is hilarious. It spells colonoscopy with a K and I put a trademark on it. I liked it. It was cool. Um, guys, this this week, this came to me when we were watching um Friends. Rewatching Friends. I know it's actually good. Oh. I haven't watched it since I was like Have you not? Yeah. I'd say sixteen. Do you get me? Oh, have you not? Yeah, like I haven't I'm not one of them. Like, I watched it a lot when I was younger because the reruns would be on Comedy Central constantly. But that's what I was going to say because yeah. when I was living in so- Summer Hill and there was fucking nothing on the telly, that's yeah. all we'd ever have on is Comedy Central and all they ever play was Friends. It's Friends. No, I, I never used to watch that much TV. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, you know when you're kind of in those early 20s? Yeah. I, spe- I think when you're living with your parents as well, you don't. No, you watch stuff on your laptop. Yeah. Like you watch certain shows on mm-hmm. your laptop and that's about it. Like you don't really yeah. even these days telly's a bit of a dead thing. It is like it I don't know what's going on, guys. Yeah, it's dead. I don't know if it's I like, just need alternate stimulation constantly where it's like telly, phone, and I need a laptop in the background yeah. and a radio playing. Need blue lights everywhere. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what it is. I just can't keep my attention to stuff like I used to. Even yeah. if I'm really invested in a TV show, can't get into uh, it. But even like how privileged are we now that like if a streaming service has the neck to release shows weekly, we're all up in fucking arms now. Sure. Like, um, during back in the day, you'd be like, oh my God, what a treat. <laughs> Tuesday. I you know. know. It won't be like that. Yeah. Like, Buffy, what was that on? Thursday? Thursdays. On Sky, was it? Uh, yeah, Thursdays after yeah. running club, I used to watch Buffy. Yeah, and that yeah. was that was such a treat. It was like, oh my God. You'd be like, oh my God, I love this. It's so close to the yeah. weekend. One day left to school. Yeah. I know, it was such yeah. a, yeah, Thursday was always kind of. It was a good, a good day. good day for telly, yeah, definitely. It's a good day for telly. But friends, I feel, oh, I just, I'm sick of it. Yeah, well, that's fair. But yeah, I haven't, um, haven't watched it since then. Mm. I've kind of been putting on, you know, for that easy, you know, when you don't want to watch another episode of something heavy. Yeah. You, you do like be flat stick out on, on the friends because every time you send me a voice note, I always hear Ross in the background. Yeah. Yeah, that's there been my ritual for the last two weeks. He's there. Yeah. There's only so many times I can rewatch the American Office. Like, I know. Yeah. It's very good, but I know. Yeah. I know where you're coming from. So, um, friends it is at the moment. And yeah. um, they were talking about school report cards. Mm-hmm. Or they said something about a school report card. And then I was just sitting here and I said to Tom, I was like, do you ever remember anything from your school report card? And he was like, yeah. And then I was like, we should do this as an episode. And that, my friends... It's, it's the divine origin. inspiration. <laughs> it's the origin of today's episode. And that's what we're going to be talking to you guys about. Yeah. Do you remember any? I remember any, themes, running I, themes. I was going to say any common denominators. I do remember one comment and I asked my mum last night, I sent her a voice note and I go, can you remember anything in particular? And she got back to me and I'll never forget it because she didn't let anybody else forget it. And I've said this before. A lot of people have like, um, a lot of people have an odd relationship with their mum. Mm. where they felt like their mum kind of like you know it's like one of those things where it's like I'm only realizing now like the trauma that my mum left me and blah 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 like when I was growing up um and I've said this a lot that I think my high self-esteem and confidence came from the fact that we were the best to my mum it didn't matter we were superstars we could be shite and she'd be like oh my god my daughters are just incredible yeah (laughs) She only remembers the highlights. I ah, love her for it. You get great, me? Like yeah. she's just like, no, you were brilliant. Like I'd be like, I'm a crap singer. No, don't. No, you're not. <laughs> you know? ah, like, Jesus. Ah, you know that? You know, nice. a lot of people would be like, oh, you know, oh, my mom said this, whatever. I'd be like, nope, my mom. Ah, go on, no. Yeah, I know. I was like, no, not my mother. Um, and she was like, oh well. She was like, you know, 
in secondary school it was always you could have tried harder which was fine <laughs> and she was like uh, do you know what she's fucking like Jennifer Coolidge isn't she yes yeah, she, <laughs> she is like the epitome <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. God. She's just skimming over it. She was like, it was yeah. kind of always, you know, could have tried harder. Very intelligent. Would you get like? Yeah. I can imagine her down in the pub and they said she's very intelligent. That's what you want. My daughter. Do you know? What I mean? Yeah. And uh she was like, I'll never forget. And God, she never let me forget this. She still brings it up what? all of the time. That my second class teacher said I could have been president of Ireland one day. Ah. And Jesus. she's like, do you remember Miss Ryan when you were in second? I'm like, yeah, you tell me the story constantly. She was maybe off her head when she made that comment. What is the story with Maz constantly repeating the same fucking story? They love it. So, oh, they love it. What geez, is that about? It's draining. We could actually do that as a full episode. Yeah. What are those stories? There's five stories that my mum rattles off consistently. And this one about Miss Ryan saying that I could have been president of Ireland is one of them. Yeah. And there's a couple other varied four. When mm. I'm in the taxi driver in Spain, there's a couple of them. <laughs> like, there is, there's just those stories that stick with them and you're like, why was that the defining moment of my childhood? Yeah. To you, woman. I know. Isn't it mad how we remember negative things, but they remember? Well, I suppose like... I think they remember fun. I suppose if it's your child. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to look back on the last two years of Bobby and I, I do kind of like the highlights are more at the forefront of my mind, whereas like, the fucking reflux and the, the yeah. lights and the crying and all kind of goes to the back of your head. So I can but see, I, I can see why. Like, I, I just can't imagine you at his 21st being like, do you remember that time that you shit yourself and vomited at the same time? <laughs> you, you were a gas two-year-old. I as would. if you, as if as a two-year-old, you're like, yeah, just, that was so funny, man. You know yeah, I, mean? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would slag him like. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, no, I, I know. Definitely will. He's a bit cracked. Like, yeah, he is a bit cracked. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Crack. But like. <laughs> I just can't imagine you even at a parent teacher meeting. Oh, I can't. I don't know what I'm going to be like. I think I'd get real defensive. Yeah. I think I'd be like my mum, but not my daughter. (laughs) Yeah. Actually, I was watching uh, Lindsay last night. She was doing live. Yeah. And she was talking about Rilo's school and how Rilo's just started first year. And like he came home one day and he was like, one of the, what didn't happen to him but it happened to somebody in his class and he put his, up his hand and he said so can I go to the toilet and the t- teacher had this fucking like I don't know power trip compact complex about him and he was like I don't know can you oh Rilo told me this story last time I was with Lindsay yeah and I was like eh why are your teachers such weirdos he's like yeah I don't know Rilo's such a good kid but he was like yeah I don't know it just was really strange I was like it yeah so fucking like where why would you say that to a 13 year old like oh stop and then um she was talking about when she was in school and her teacher used to do this thing where he'd put a big equation on the blackboard and anybody who like vic like who uh, whoever figured it out would have to go up and stand at the blackboard so whoever was like left last would still sit in at the table and it was she said it was usually me i was sitting in like at the table by myself still like under so oh much pressure gosh. to try and get this fucking equation done well, everybody stares at you yeah. no and she said it would usually she was talking as if it's happened more than once and it was like uh oh i it, usually the bell would go because like it just took me that fucking long or whatever and he'd be like yeah, have, have you figured it out yet and i was just like that's fucking disgusting that's cruel. and if i i think if i was a parent and i was hearing shit like that going on in school i wouldn't be able to hold back i don't think that shit could go on in school anymore though but with the Rilo thing, he's only started first year and that happened. Yeah, but that's like a, a small microaggression. It's still fucking you, The sick. shit that we went through, do you know oh, what I mean? Yeah, like no. that would never fly nowadays. Yeah, no. And like the shit that t- p- teachers got away in primary schools with. It just that's wouldn't true. fly nowadays. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not like that anymore. Now it's, it's apparently very oh, yeah, different. Well, it's For many teachers that I've spoken to, apparently it's very, very different. It's very, a lot very, more very different. Politically correct, but I fucking and a, b- hope a lot more so. progressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think that was just like a little baby microaggression, like a pear trip. Do you know what I mean? It was just like it was like a little slip. Just very oh, like it's shit that it stayed with him. Do you know? Like yeah. it is shit that it stayed with him. But um Very strange, like Yeah. Like I mean, I've blanked out a lot of my school years, but I'm sure there was plenty of them. Yeah, definitely. You know? Um, and I, I used to hate that they didn't let you go to the toilet, especially when you weren't taking, pardon the pun, taking the piss. Like, yeah, if you weren't, because I would have been, sorry, forced to charge you. Right, I'd understand. I was a little bollocks, but f- like fifth and sixth year, I would have been known as the quote unquote squat of the class because yeah. I was in the Messers class, but I did well. Yeah, do you know, 
so I wouldn't have taken the piss all that much, but like say I wanted to go to the toilet or whatever, wouldn't have even necessarily been in an important because I would have been conscious of that. Yeah. If we were getting up to an important point and the teacher didn't want you to miss it or whatever, like that's fair enough. But like it was usually just just a straight no. I was like, that's fucking bizarre that they have that power, isn't it? Like, yeah. and then there used to be. In our school, there was uh, this rule that you could only go to the toilet 10 minutes before break or 10 minutes after break. That they were locked in between the change of class. What? So, even the girls' toilets. What? Fucking bizarre behaviour. Like, even for girls, do you know? Could someone let us know if there was a reason for that? Because, like, all I can think of is, like, imagine you're on your period. I know, that's what I or mean. Im- but it's- imagine anything. Imagine... You just, just sick, you just needed like, to go to the bathroom yeah. in any way, shape, or form. But that's what I'm I'm talking about. It was just fucking strange behavior having that control over young people. Like, yeah, I can like, understand I mean, if people just went to the toilet to take the piss or to meet off class or yeah. to go around messing yeah. or whatever. And there were a few of them. And I was one of them. Yeah, so. <laughs> they're like, you can understand that aspect of it, but for the whole school to not be it, like to have a fucking small twenty minute window. It within school hours that you could go to the toilet in a long ass day. It was just very strange. Like some of the stuff that I look. But back that's what on I mean. Now, I d- that just wouldn't fly nowadays. It's no. just not a thing that would fly I would nowadays. Hope not. It just isn't. It's like, yeah. I'm kind of surprised that happened in general, but very fucking strange. I'd love to know if anybody has an explanation for us. Yeah, just Go let on, us know. You love to yeah. let us know after. Yeah, <laughs> after yeah, the yeah. Fact. yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, oh. <laughs> She had a moment. Had a moment. <coughs> uh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, anything that stands out from yours? Uh, me report cards, and I was raging because my dad was in bed last night, and I not. I could, Are they in the attic? I fucking no. They're over my mum's bed in a press, <sighs> and I was looking for a photo. Can't remember for why, but I her, all of my report cards are there. So I might take them out during the week, take pictures of them, and we try oh my God, on the Insta because they're so clear. Yeah. You're so easy to read now. As far as I know, they're mostly from primary school, but the common denominator for me was that it was a chat box. Yeah. She, she's grand, but she's a chat box. She's yeah. a chat box. They have phrases, don't they? Yeah. Where it's like, gets distracted easily, distracts yeah. others easily, constantly chats in class. What are some others? <laughs> yeah. Like, mm. the ones for the good people were like, I, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't one. one of them. <laughs> I don't, couldn't tell you. I, I think it was like, no, there was a couple of, you know, there was a couple of classes that you were good at. Yeah. Like I always, like from my PE teachers, I'd always get like really yeah. active, really can't, participate, like good team really player. I remember blah, blah, blah. me secondary school ones. It was more so me primary school because they're the ones that They're the ones that you'd be like, oh, what yeah. am I getting? How am I getting I on? I remember my ma used to just roll her eyes like... See the way you're saying Doff would have turned around yeah. and, and been like, oh my God, my children are excellent. They're yeah. angels. Yeah. They're all this. My dad would have no problem turning around and saying, you were a fuck. You were a little fuck. Because yeah. I was. Yeah. Do you know? Like, she yeah. put, she'll humble you. <laughs> yeah, she'll humble you. That's what I mean. Like, it, it's... Yeah, <laughs> no, Doff wasn't like that. She, she's no problem. She'd build you, you Doff yeah. would build you straight up. <laughs> yeah, no, she prob- no problem putting you back in your box now. Yeah, do you know? Because I even told <laughs> Poppy was acting the bollocks the other day, and I was like, "Oh, because ho- something that horror I used to say because I was a little bollocks to her was God gives special children to special people." And she was like, well, then I must be very fucking special. And I said it to me mad the other day. I was like, God gives special people. And I was like, I'm not that special. She was like, yeah, I'm not fucking special, then you think? <laughs> I was like, Jesus, if she'd have run at me and fucking slide tackled me, it would have been yeah, less, you know? Less hurt, hurt, harmful, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like, Sheila, fucking hell. Thanks for letting us know, it's bitch. Just, just very tense at the yeah. minute, living oh, alone no, with the fair red Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. The amount of arguments I've had in my head has been... Colossal. <laughs> yeah, never actually, never, never thought them through, Jen. But you, you certainly thought about it. No, they never manifest, but <laughs> they have in my head. They have in your head. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be an interesting topic, especially seeing other people's like reactions or those ones that kind of stick out in your head. Um, I think I've said this before, but my dad was never given the opportunity to go to any parent teacher meeting. Was he not? No. Why? Because my mum just knew. Okay. She took the blow. Right. Oh, me and my mom, we were thick as thieves. Jesus, she's a fucking enabler, isn't she? Yeah, Duff. yeah. 
Jesus. Look at me here, here present in your life. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she absolutely <laughs> is. I'll put my hands out. Um, no, she was just clever. Like, she just knew. Yeah. Ray was strict. Yeah. Ray was always a bit, and everyone's like, no, not Ray. I'm like, Ray was really fucking strict. Like, not strict when I was growing up, but he was a total, yeah. yeah. He has his ways, right? Yeah, he has his ways. He just, you know, he, Ray was very studious. He always did the right thing, and he loved to study, and he loved a poxy book, and, you know, and mm. all that kind of stuff. Well, there's my mum was never great in school. Yeah. And her dad was always very harsh on her. Okay. So I think she was just like, let's just me and you, let's just keep this true. And she just, she always used to say, you know, Ray takes care of, of these things, and I take care of these things. Yeah. And I just never questioned it. Mm. But it was cute. She was just trying to. Jesus, me. like so, uh, she would have been the ma of. Oh, she was the ma. She was their ma. Yeah, she was their ma. Like, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Like, you know, yeah. she wasn't like the ma for other cool things, but she was the ma for stuff like that. Yeah. Like any time I get like if I got into serious trouble in school, as we know from some of my Patreon stories, yeah. she was the one I'd go to. Yeah. And she'd be like, "Right, this is how we're going to sort it. We're not telling her that. Like, it's just it's not happening." And I think I'd be the same with my kids. Because he would be a fucking terrorist. Okay. He would be a terrorist. And I would be chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I suppose your ma had that kind of experience of one, not being great in school and two, being a girl. Yeah. And I think it was very different when they were younger yeah. and they were growing up. And also my mum was one of six. Mm. Um, five girls and a brother, Do you know. So she was kind of, and she was the eldest of the girls. Mm-hmm. And they were all quite close in age. So I think she... I think she very much was like knew the stroke never was into school was always really arty and mm. you know she was kind of very into that and all that kind of stuff and I think she she just knew she just wanted to like versus like Ray was the absolute opposite yeah always yeah. a top student always really studious went to Trinity which was like the thing back then you know what I mean and oh did Ray go to Trinity of course he did Trinity is for winners he still uses the Trinity. poxy library <laughs> Alumni vibes. Oh, oh, does he go back to his acapella group yeah. as well? <laughs> Going oh, in with the jacket arms like Andy from the office. Hi oh, guys. Yeah. Just coming over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember back in my day. Yeah, he's so... Ah, oh, bless him. So cute. Oh, right. um, but yeah, so I think they were just the total opposite of each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. I think she had always just kind of like, as I said, she only ever threatened me once about school. Right. And that was after my... Uh, <laughs> you were asked to leave. I, uh, my, I don't think my dad went to... See, this is the thing. And I feel like I'm hard on my ma because my ma was always the one that was like... My ma gave up work shor- shortly after, like a year or two after I was born. Yeah. To stay at home with us. I mean, like the agreement was my dad went out and worked. Yeah, they struggled. They never went on holidays. They like, you know, they stretched their pennies as far as they could, but they got a, a nice house in Blanche or whatever. At the time. So my ma was staying home uh, to look after us and my dad would go to work. So my ma would do all of the bits, like go to the the shows and the, the parent-teacher meetings. Yeah. And whereas my dad would just go to work and come home and go yeah. to work and come home. And but I think really there is a parent else. that does that, though. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Like, I, I don't know anyone. Because do you remember at the school collections, you'd be like, there's Steph's mum and bloody blah's da. And you knew his, yeah. the pe- or, and bloody blah's nan. Do you know what I mean? And there's, yeah. you know, Sarah's nan and she always collects her. Mm-hmm. And there's, you know, that person's whatever. So it was it was your mum for you. She was my mum, yeah. Sheila Sheik. Sheila Sheik. She was the one who did all of that sort of stuff. Um, and I, I can't really remember. I was nervous. Only a few times when parent-teacher meetings came up. But my mum was more like rolling her eyes the fact that she had to fucking leave the house after five o'clock in the evening do you yeah. know what I mean like cause she's very much she has a routine she has a routine, <laughs> has a routine. oh fucking hell Carla oh. like oh I came home yesterday I went over I went Adam collected Bobby from my sister's house and brought him over to Finglas and he was like meet some Finglas I walked the dogs or whatever came home ma like a face the face of a fucking oh I've, I've never seen the likes of it because she had dinner there and I wasn't there for her to make it for me Oh. And then she's like, Do you need water for a shower? Oh. Now my dad goes to bed at fucking ridiculous times, and mm-hmm. I have to put my toddler to bed who can sometimes not go asleep when I need him to. So I feel like I'm on a timer constantly. You know I know, I mean? like you're, this, there's this no how, relax, there's no, no release of the tension. You're just like, no, no. Yeah. It's constant. You're trying to fit it into the plan, and that's the problem with living with fucking parents. This is the thing, like, because you're constantly trying to fucking 
live by their rules do you know what I mean and like it, it's, it's still so strict and I'm 33 it's so fucking strange but they just have their ways and mm-hmm. I know not to fucking mm-hmm. like I'm living under the roof I'm not gonna like push the boat or anything but it does fucking piss me off and I don't have a minute no. from when I get home no. to be able to do anything like yeah. have a shower after the hour of nine in the evening god forbid you know yeah. So it's just constant, like, this is what me ma, like, if she had to go to something like a parent-teacher meeting, like, 20 past six in the evening, it was like, oh. I can't believe I've seen this once a yeah, year. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. But now, were they once a year or were they twice a year? I think they were twice. I don't know. I, don't I think know. they were once. I think there was, like, a review. Like, there was two reports, definitely. There was two reports, for sure, but I think there was only one. Meeting. Conference. Yeah. Um, and then it obviously got a hell of a lot more intense when secondary school came around because you're going around to nine teachers. Yeah. Like, yeah, a lot of organising. They used to set up in the assembly and you'd get the half day. It was yeah. Great. yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They'd have to because of the amount of fucking meetings that would have to take place. Like, it's a whole but new it's world. Mad. You'd only have like, you know, when you're thinking back, you're like, oh God, they'd only have like, what, 10 minutes with each parent? Less. Each, te- each like, teacher? Yeah. So your geography teacher would have. Like 10 minutes ten with minutes your parents? With your no, five minutes? I would say five is enough. Like, really? Unless they had what big else? concerns. Yeah, like what else are they yeah. fucking... I wonder how they're set out. I know, I'd love to... Oh, I'll know oh. soon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I suppose though... Like, I'd love to be a mom just to see. <laughs> with parent-teacher meetings, especially in secondary school, that you are going around to like eight, nine, ten different mm-hmm. teachers. If there's something going on with your kids... That you don't notice at home, mm. you're sure to find it out there. I was going to say, which is really good because, like, you're talking to all different people who have the same kind of, they're seeing the same things. So fucking like, it's priceless in that sense. Yeah, you know, like if you were to, we do have some teacher stories in our listeners' oh, stories. Okay, good. So maybe we should. Yeah, let's get into them. Let's get into it. First response here in the question box. All us girls who got told we talk too much are bad bitches now. I, w- I want more context. But that is true. I was a chatterbox and now I have a podcast. Case in point. We are bad, we are bad bees, <laughs> baby. I'm not going to say I'm a bad bitch. I'm just like, it came in handy. Yeah, it, it being did. Being a, a, a chatterbox. Yeah. You know what I mean? It did. Yeah, yeah. It, came, it comes in handy being a chatterbox over shower. Over what? Over oh, shower. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural, yeah. natural over shower. Um... <laughs> Okay, so I was always a good two-shoes and always got good reports. In secondary school, we had a religion teacher who was known as a paedophile, and he was even sacked and told people he took an early retirement. This took a turn. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody had a paedophile teacher, though. Everyone had a teacher that had rumours about them being a pedo. A pedo, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, PE teacher, usually. Yeah, that was in my school, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, my mom was going to a parent-teacher meeting, and I had explained to her that this pedo religion teacher, and of course she wasn't going to believe a 14-year-old. Yeah. While she was talking to him, he told her that she would love to clone me and have 25 of me in every class. Not because I was a top student. No, no. Because my skin is so beautiful and I look prim and proper in my uniform. Oh, my fuck. Safe to say my mum came home traumatised. Yeah. Oh. Imagine somebody talking about your 14 year old like that. I'd be kicking balls. Again. Don't think it would happen now. Well, maybe it would. But like, oh my God. No, they couldn't. They couldn't comment on your appearance. Surely they'd have... Oh, like, no, they used to. But they used to be like... No, but surely these days, people. even a pedo would have more common sense with today's... Yeah, I think, you, you know, know I mean? yeah. I think they'd know they'll get cancelled. Like, yeah, <laughs> get a little bit exposed. <laughs> they'd be a bit more careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pedos, they are changing. <laughs> they are. I mean, they have to move with the times, so yeah. I mean? Keep up. Sake, yeah, keep up. Uh, one time my mum asked my business teacher, should I do it for the leaving? And he said, no, please don't. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> one time my teacher asked me, business teacher, should she do it for the leaving? Like, I just, oh, do you think she should do, do it for the leaving? Do business for the leaving, yeah. And he said, no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love the honesty. Actually, that it's brought brilliant. back a memory. My, uh, <laughs> my third class maths teacher... You know the way you're like If you go into fourth year and fifth You know the way he was like Is she going to do fourth year or fifth oh, year yeah. Kind of thing The big question Yeah I remember he had said to my mum And this is Don't tell my mum these things Because she it's like she's like a dog with a bone He had said to her That I was capable Of getting at least a B In honours maths for the leaving cert Oh okay 
I did slow pace pass maths for the league. <laughs> <laughs> you did one, two, three. I did, no, but I did the, because I went to the institute, obviously, so you can do paces of classes. Oh. So I did slow oh, is pace. That, is that how they're uh, categorised? With some stuff. I think with Irish, maths, maybe language, maybe other languages Makes as well. Sense. But maths in particular was great. So I did yeah. slow pace pass maths. <laughs> Good. Just at a slower pace hey, listen, I'm not To drill it judge. into my brain Yeah I'm not going to judge I give But my mum was like Are you sure Because like I ju- I remember I went in Thinking I'd be grand And honours maths And then I was like Okay so no for me And then I dropped to pa- And my mum was like You know mm. Mr McHugh said And I was like Mum <laughs> You need to let this go Yeah You gotta let this one go It's, it's not happening it's And time. then I eventually ended up In, in slow pace pass maths <laughs> It sounds like my kind of maths, to be honest. I did. It was very, it was yeah. brilliant. It was very, yeah. very good. I had a class teacher. Yeah, I, yeah. I was very capable of LCI. Yeah, to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're top of the class. Yeah, top, I was top of the class. I know you were with your 500 euro voucher. Yeah, it wasn't was. a voucher, it was cash. Even better. It was the only one with distinction that year. Uh, I snuck out of it to, oh, sorry. I snuck out to it from... The postman. We always got our post a day after the townie, so I was ready. Oh, so this is the report going out in the post. <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. That's where the teachers take control of the city. Yeah, that's when they're like, excuse I, me now, what I the fuck you, is going on? I was usually sent home with mine, and it was your choice. <laughs> <laughs> it was your choice whether you wanted to show that or not. Yeah. No, ours did get sent out by the post. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I'd be sweating looking for that envelope. I specifically remember being sent home with mine, especially in primary school. But it was generally grand. Like, I was never afraid to give it to, to her. And, like, you would have other kids in the same school. They would have heard. Do you know? Like, if you tried to, like, hide it, yeah. they would have heard from the other 17 mas on the road yeah. who send their kids to the same school that the reports came home that day. Yeah. So they're going to know. Unless if you born that thing. With the box of matches that you found. Well, it was like the time that my ex girl summoned my father. <gasps> with a letter. Couldn't, couldn't make that one. Oh, Me and D couldn't get away from that one. Oh, shit. Well, I was saying doff. Nothing ever happens. Get uh, ready. I'll never forget that fucking day. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Right. Oh, this was another one. Memory unlocked. Did every teacher just write, quote unquote, giddy on every girl's report? G- they giddy. loved giddy. Yeah, giddy. I always got that chat giddy, giddy. Giddy, yeah. yeah, that was a big one. Oh, stop. Giddy. Oh, Too yeah. giddy for this class. Yeah. Very giddy. Somebody else wrote, the trauma has more potential. That's another one. But that's what I mean. It was like, could do more. Yeah, you yeah. Know, this, could like, but I don't want to. I want to chat to my mates about the weekend. We're going to the <laughs> disco. <laughs> yeah. Leave us alone, please. I feel like teachers don't really see the importance of talking about life when you're that age. It's just really, my clear mascara isn't working anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You need to let me figure this out. My natural collection. Makeup. Okay. I need to figure out who I'm meeting this weekend. Okay. Mm. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Um... Oh, so someone screenshotted a message that they'd sent us previously mm. and said, replying, or replying to this to refresh your memories. And the initial message was, uh, Carla, I also got asked to leave secondary school just before the junior cert. My principal called me out of class and said, so I've had a chat with some of the teachers and I've decided you won't be returning here after the summer and I'll inform your parents. Oh. So I cut my hair short, dyed a pink and wore a lip piercing to school. Um, and I did his head in for the last few weeks. So she sent that. Yeah. And she said, I sent this in before about me being asked slash told I wasn't coming back to secondary school. The principal actually called my mum to tell her I wasn't a good fit for the school. Then avoided my mum every time she came to the school. He never spoke to her face to face. Just a phone call. Fuck's sake. Lucky you. Yeah. I got meeting. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I had a French teacher ask my parents to get my uh, hearing checked as she could see I was trying really hard but couldn't understand why I wasn't improving at all <laughs> oh my god <laughs> fuck fuck she just couldn't grasp it like there was a few people and I remember feeling a bit heartbroken because you could see that they were really trying but it wasn't mm. it just wasn't landing it wasn't registering with them like no it's a whole different language in your like you're well past the age where you can sponge this yeah, shit up anymore yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm I'm still absolutely so annoyed at my parents for not teaching me 12 different languages when I was child. Same, oh, raging. Why yeah. didn't they do that? That was rude. And <laughs> here's me not doing it with Bobby. I could be doing business in Mandarin right now. Yeah. I could be studying oh, that. Yeah. 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 Um, 
But oh, <laughs> fuck. My ma went to a parent teacher meeting, listened to him talk shit about me for 10 minutes. He went to point out my grades on the page. He thought I was somebody else. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, he thought she was somebody else. That's man. definitely happened oh, plenty of times. And it's like, yeah. see, gra- oh no, shit, you're Jen's Imagine mom. the relief. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, oh, Jen. Oh no, she's good. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, she came top of the yeah. class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake. She doesn't go for smokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doesn't get caught. Imagine. Um, gas story. My mom went to my parent teacher meeting for second year. A woman comes up to her wearing a brown velour tracksuit and hair scraped up and asks my mum who her daughter was. My mum would chat to the wall, so she tells her and then asks who her daughter was. Little did she know she was chatting to the school principal who had just been promoted that year from vice principal. I was mortified when my mum told me. However, my mum was fully disgusted by this woman and still to this day when anybody talks about parent-teacher meetings, she tells this story and literally gets violent thinking of it. To be fair, she wasn't wrong. That principal was an actual clown. Side note, I'm the youngest of three girls and my mum has kept every single school report from junior infants to sixth year. Oh, that's so sweet, isn't it? All right, we have all our reports too. They're just somewhere in the attic and I'm not ours. Yeah, yeah. They're up there with the beanie babies. Yeah, up there with the beanie babies. They're up there with the beanie babies. All right, Pete. Sleep oh, well, right. princesses. <laughs> Fucking far too up in the attic. <laughs> um, my mother was my principal. I think that speaks for itself. <gasps> Sex education stitch going on there. Oh, yikes. Jesus. That was tough when Imagine there was somebody the who had a teacher in the club, who had a teacher parent or a... Would you bother? Like, if... Or, you were just like, marked. You were marked. To, you were marked. But two, like, perspectives. If you were a student who had a relative who was in the faculty, would you want to go to a different school? No. Um, no. They know. Or if you were in the faculty and you had a kid related to you coming to the school, would you not like say, like, I, I don't think I'd expect the child to come to the school. Like, I know how awkward that'd be. I know yeah, but you work you, there. I know sometimes it's like you, you it's, it. it's handy, Jen. You're I not going to drive them there to then drive yourself to your school. I know, yeah. It's just a bit. I think it's unfair. Yeah. Maybe. It's just very unfair. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, got caught playing Would You Rather in sixth class. Had Whoops. the worst anxiety. It was going to come up in a meeting. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> would You Rather. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. That would that would have been a big one. In well, sixth depen- class? Depends on the context. In sixth class. Yeah. Just everything. Would was. You Rather have a willy for it now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. willy's buffing us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just, oh, sorry, miss. Just, yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it went. Okay. Um, I had the same year head for all six years of secondary school. Mom used to avoid her parent teacher meetings because she was a cow. My mother called her that, not me. And then on the last day of sixth year, mum landed in with a huge bunch of flowers and a voucher and thanked her for the last six years, even though my mum gave a stink about her the whole time. I personally thought my year head was lovely, so I don't know why my mum didn't take to her. There was beef there. There was Absolutely. definitely beef there. Yeah. I would like to know why. I would like to see it. You need to ask her now in your older years. Yeah. Yeah, quiz her on that. This is... And get back to us in this now. For sure. Uh, Mum made my maths teacher cry in sixth year because she was slating me. Uh, wild turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. She's <laughs> got a whiplash from that one. I yeah. would like to... I would like more context. I would like my... Cr- Why is this just in the box? Your mum made your maths teacher cry. Did she follow it up with a message? Because no? she was... Sli- what did no. she say to her? No, this was in the parent-teacher meeting. The maths teacher was slating her. Yeah. So her mum made the teacher cry. Yeah, your mum needs to teach me her Why? ways. How did she make her cry? Was it How physical? did that get flipped? Was it physical? Did she punch her? I'd say it's... An, as a teacher, I'd say it's a lo- oh, I'd say it's a horrible day. Oh, yeah. I'd say you're like, I don't want to talk about your little shit, Brian. Yeah, he's I've crap. A, I've, had a, I've had enough of them. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to talk about him. He's an, he's love, triggering to me. I have a cousin who's a teacher in a secondary school. I would lo- love to get her perspective on this. And I'm fucking raging I never asked her. Well, we decided last night, though. Yeah, it was very last minute. Yeah, it was. We just wanted to do something a little bit fun and free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was your best Northside accent today. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm getting better. I feel like Duff. Oh, that was fantastic. Look. Oh, she's just brilliant. Just Northside accent. <laughs> Even though I'm from here. Um, we had progress reports sent out in middle school, and mine had some comments about how I needed to stop fucking talking to the other kids and stop talking back. Our parents needed to sign them. 
Oh. But I was mortified, so I started practicing my mum's signature to forge it. Yeah. Clearly wasn't thinking top shelf thoughts because I tossed my practice sheet behind the washer rather than in the trash. Oh. <gasps> Oh. Why do we do dumb shit like that? Oh, we're so careless. Yeah. Um, of course, my mum found it and knew I'd been practicing. So she made me fess up for what I'd been practicing for. Then she called my teacher and got the full report anyway. Ah, oh, shit. Do you remember you used oh, to get... Ah, shit. <laughs> do you remember uh, when your teacher would write a note in your, in your, no- your journal? Oh. Your journal. Carla, bring up your journal. Yeah. I'd be like, no. No, and I get remember, your mum's signature, your mum and dad's signature, and I'd be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I remember um, there was like our school journal only had a small amount of no, like a small. It space. was, it was at the end, it had Monday to Friday week. and then underneath, yeah. yeah. But like some kids, there was no room left for some kids. True. They would like, they take up the whole, some of them would be very. The scribes, like. Yeah, <laughs> they'd be like. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Celtic monk <laughs> give, it, give it your all <laughs> Massive calligraphy <laughs> You couldn't even read half that right Like they were shite uh, It was but like doctors or scripts Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Scribes But yeah now that fucking Remember they used to And then you had to bring out I go no me don't <laughs> Or no, you, I don't have it with me And the innocent Yeah You don't have You don't have your journal with you Yeah Are the innocent I have no. to go home And take your journal I go no me journal and They just trusted you To show your man Darling and you would Yeah For fear The yeah. anxiety that we had It was like We thought they had The smartphones that we have now and Yeah And could just get in touch with them I wonder what happens now Yeah, We're going to have to do If we're still at this When Bobby's in school I do, Oh no There would have to be Because definitely Like even during lockdown When they were all using that app I'm surprised that hasn't become A reg If it, has, if it already is I haven't heard of it But wasn't there like The Aladdin app Where they could put their homework up on it that's what my nephew was doing. Wow. Because they were all doing the homeschooling, right. so they put the work that you had to do up on this app. And then you did all the work on the app. And then you could do it through school, and then there were Skype classes. And like, can you get away technical. with more nowadays, or less? I would say less. Oh, no, you can get away with less, because the teachers can text their parents and everything. Oh, like, texts I would hate it. come home from the school about, like, headlights outbreaks, and, you know, well, in- that's clever. instead of letting... Let us send letters home. Do you know, like having yeah. to print out fucking 120 letters for a group of like four classers. Do you know what I mean? I'd be like, bring that home now. Yeah, and no, it's just a WhatsApp now, I think. Interesting. That is handy. That is handy. Yeah, I would like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, not very funny, but I had this one no fucks given French teacher. At the parent teacher meeting, loads of parents complained to her <laughs> that she was. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? I just remember your French teacher. <laughs> Somebody give, used to give it her all into the accent. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it just comes slanted into the phone. Yeah, they fucking would. Like, like there were Madeline's teacher. Do you remember Madeline, the little cartoon? Yeah. yeah like her Come on she <laughs> Fucking Madame Gazelle And Peppa Pig <laughs> Oh stop <laughs> Fucking oh, god That came out of nowhere for you Hi, Yeah, <laughs> yeah it'd be like, like Oh no, my god got that accent on that so And that, it huh? just changed Like Yeah I but I click Sorry Sweaty hands But that's it, Like the, We talked about this before Don't you feel like An absolute gobshite no, But you're don't. supposed to speak it With the accents Otherwise it's I know, but like, I don't, I speak the same language as American people and I'm not going to go into an American accent. Would you, I know it's like... No, it's, but with, you know, with... Uh. I don't know. Yeah, I, I find it weird. I feel a bit more humble when I'm saying bonjour, je m'appelle Jen. And bonjour? Even, even though it doesn't sound right at all to a French person. In the same way that a foreign national could come over here and start speaking English in their own accent. It's just what people do because it's less embarrassing. <laughs> like I'm not gonna go to Fran- France and be like, "Bonjour, comment tu t'appelles?" Un petit pan. J'habite où? Bibliothèque. Yeah. So anyway, 
Um, at the parent teacher meeting, this is the French teacher, uh, meeting loads of parents complained to her that she was giving us too much homework and they were spending too much time on French and how did we find this out? She came in the next day and she gave out to the whole class about how disgusted she was, that we were all pussies basically. And she even named individuals and was like, Carly Kelly, your mother said, I remember it so well. She was so patronizing. Gas. And I was so glad my mum said nothing as she was also a teacher and a bit scared of this one. Oh God. So your mum knew. Yeah. She was like, as a teacher, I ain't rotten. Yeah. Ca- oh, like, yeah. Oh, Jesus. In. So mm-hmm. they must have a, a vendetta against the kids that have, like, their ma has beef with them. Yeah. Exactly. Treat, that shouldn't happen. Shouldn't treat them differently, like. I think if you're... Like if I'm it's a tough one because like obviously you want to defend your kid and be like well she doesn't fucking rate you either mate <laughs> Do you yeah, know? Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. you know you don't get to see your kid in school yeah it could be a totally different oh this is the thing like they, yeah. de- they definitely could and like i'm kind of thinking like if i was teaching little johnny and his ma was an absolute karen would i treat johnny differently because his ma's a karen yeah. Do you know not very fair not very fair i do i do feel very sympathetic for teachers because i think when you're younger, you don't like. Obviously, they're human beings with lives, but we don't register no, it that we way. Don't. We just don't. No, it's, it's like the, same, the way we think about our parents. We don't think. <clears> of no, them we as don't humans. think of them as humans with feelings and emotions. No. But can you imagine if, like, your teacher went through a really bad breakup and then you yeah. were being particularly cheeky and it just was the thing that triggered them? Yeah. And then they just get upset. Oh, like it's bad enough when your own child is cheeky. Never mind thirty kids. Imagine who don't like and to you. like one in particular that you know just grates you. Yeah. And you being like, I, I'm not doing this today, Stephen. It's I have not. to say, if I got the chance to ever go back and speak to my teachers, I'd just apologise if I ever hurt them. Because I was a cunt on numerous cages, occasions. Like, I remember just being particularly, like, venomous to some Yes, yeah, some of them you were, some of them you were just them like, were you just naive. did not click with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of them were just a bit more of a target mm. really and I feel so bad because now I see like my cousin who was a teacher and she is the sweetest and I just feel like oh god if anybody was to treat you her the way that I treated some of my teachers like and it wasn't even all the time it was just some particular situations and I hate myself for it yeah. do you know like but obviously I'm a different person now but if I ever came across them again I'd be like oh my god I'm so fucking sorry like apologies to you guys yeah for that I hope they're like not fucking traumatized after me you know? yeah 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 that's hard you should be very robust as a teacher yeah you would have it's to be tough. yeah definitely very really tough uh i burnt all my report cards for two years until my parents copped on that they weren't all lost i mean two I, years is a long time to get away with it yeah, fair, fair folks to you yeah. yeah that's what i was saying the only way you could get rid of them was if you burnt them like no you could you could put them in the bin also <laughs> you don't need to burn them i mean there's no bringing them back when they're burnt true like your one who threw her practice paper behind the washing machine instead of the bin. Yeah, that, that was that dumb. risk. Why that did we do those things? I don't know. Absolute dopes. Yeah. Uh, we were still in school. We had a lot to learn, Carly. Yeah, oh, we had a lot to learn, I tell you that. <laughs> we just weren't listening to the teachers. Uh, this to apply herself and stop treating. Oh, sorry. Is this a, a p- second part? Needs to. Oh, sorry. This is a comment. Uh, needs to apply herself and stop treating school as a social event. Ah! I got that a lot. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh I love that It is that It is a social event It's great It's a massive part of your life It's been It's very uh, the last one in, friendships Yeah The last one in the box here is It doesn't matter where We sit you Del She will continuously talk To anyone but Yeah My kids are <laughs> Exactly the same Yeah that's yeah see it. like uh, this is what i mean if i had a kid and i was getting their report i'd be like oh that was me <laughs> Do you know? yeah, like, oh, yeah. that was me too. yeah it is it's one of those things isn't yeah. it um when i was in something like first class my report card said that i should read more for pleasure i was a recluse child and all i did was read and also said that they hoped that tummy aches go away in the next year with the words in quotations because i was obviously spoofing and i didn't want to go to school <laughs> <laughs> tummy aches tummy those tummy aches should go away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my parents came back from a junior infant's parent teacher meeting with my mother crying. My teacher explained I simply had no time for school or sitting as I was so busy chatting that they had to take had taken my chair off me for two days because I just wouldn't sit still. So they made you stand. Do you remember people used to get sent outside of class and you'd have to stand outside of class? I used to be that was sent the worst. into the corner. I was just looking at the corner. 
Oh, that's tough. Because I was, yeah, I was one of them. And, but like, because he, and I remember it was in junior infants, and I was put, sent into the corner, and you'd be looking at it, but because you were still so young, like, you'd be roaring and crying. <laughs> you'd, be, <"Aah!" laughs> you'd be wailing in the corner. You'd be, oh, I want to sit down and meet you. No, you've another five minutes. Oh, I want to sit down and meet Like, so oh, disru- like, disruptive. Please chill out. Yeah. I was less disruptive in the chair. Yeah, in the chair than in the corner. Like, Makes no sense, Miss Lynch. Just let me go back. Yeah, seriously. Um, you and your coffee bread. And I still remember it. Yeah. Um, in secondary school, we had to go with our parents to the par- pa- parent-teacher meetings. The nerves and embarrassment were through the roof. You had to basically queue to see each... What, what was, was that? that? A foghorn. Bizarre. Um... The nerves and embarrassment were through the roof. You had to basically queue to see each teacher and the sense of dread would escalate with each step closer. Oh, yeah. Then you would sit there in silence and listen to the teacher tell your mum how shit you are. And <laughs> as if you're not there. Over and over and over again. Don't get me started about teachers you had crushes on. Face as red as a beetroot. You had to go to yours. Yeah, that's mad. That's... Did I? No. I, I, I remember hearing of it. Did I? Was there some that I had to go to? I can't remember. I remember going to... I think nobody was... I was still in primary school and my sister was in secondary school and my mum had parent-teacher meetings for her. So I went to my sister's ones once because I remember seeing the setup. Yeah, me too. I remember there. seeing the setup, but I don't know if it was because... Oh, it was, definitely wasn't for me. Like. No, I don't think I went any. I don't remember anything about it other than seeing the assembly, the way it was set up with all the teachers. Like It's probably more of an adult thing to do nowadays, though. And yeah. be like, so we're sitting here with your mum and here's all the things that you need to improve on and here's this, that and the other. Like, is this registering in your brain rather than secondhand information? That's true, yeah. So it's probably treating you more like an adult. Because at the end of the day, like, your your education is your own to mm. take on or not take on. Yeah. So mm, that would probably it work. It would be definitely more progressive to do it that way. Like, yeah. Yeah. For the woke culture, you know. You guys, you get You're different so experiences. Uh, when I well, we're improving every day, you know. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We have to. Uh, when I was eleven, I wrote a book on sex. I even drew pictures on how to put what? a condom on. What? How I knew that was beyond me. Uh, anyway, my parents got called up to Mr. Freeman's office, and he had the book I made in front of him, and he was very angry. I'd shown Lindsay Copeland my book that day in school, and just did, we have names. Yeah, he was the people. <laughs> I don't know. We have names. I'd no, I don't know her. Do I? I don't think so. Uh, I'd shown Lindsay Copeland my book that day in school and the frigid bitch <laughs> went home and told oh. <laughs> her frigid bitch went, <laughs> went home and told her mum who then complained. My mum and dad obviously had to take had to seriously speak to me about it but years later told me how they laughed. It was only we st- if only we still had it now on my skill report it said I need to stop being distracted by boys and writing naughty books. Oh my god, you expressed yourself, honey. I I love the venom in our fucking J- Lindsay Copeland went home and <laughs> the frigid bitch. Frigid <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Still going there, frigid bitch. <laughs> I love it. Oh, right, Lindsay, I Lindsay, hope you listen. I hope you're listening. It's time for you to retaliate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we need your bite back. Oh, oh stop that's gas. Um, I went to a small national school. There was only eight in the class and we were all girls, no boys. Then when we were in fourth class, a new student joined and it was a boy and there was great excitement. Oh, yeah. So we started to pass the notes to each other under the table about the new boy and one of the girls wrote the word sex question mark. <laughs> Why <laughs> did we go to those extremes? <laughs> Do you remember we'd be like, we'd be like kiss and it'd be like, actually, I'm going to go one better than the Becky, that bitch. Sex. You had no clue what it was. Yeah. Look, look at Breeze. Um... On one side of the note, the teacher caught us passing the note, took it off, tre- threatened to tell the priest oh, what stop. we were writing and our parents. I think I cried for a week reading about it. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the worry as a kid? But that's what, the anxiety and you didn't register what it was. What it you'd was, be like, yeah. Why do I feel like... And it was so scary. Yeah, but you'd also, it would be fleeting, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, no, it was over the stupidest shit and it was more so that you were going to get in trouble over something, but yeah. it felt like a ton of bricks. It did. Or- for those 24 hours that you carried it. Yeah, it did. I remember, er, that's just another thing, and it kind of relates back to school. I remember, and my best friend remembers this as well, something happened, I think it was about bullying or something, but the principal came over at the intercom. I'm still laughing at my frigid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, Lindsay. Poor girl. Lindsay like. Goldman. Uh, 
our principal came over the inter- intercom and he was talking. I think it must have been about bullying because he was given out basically over the intercom saying there was like an incident and if it ever happened again, he was going to come down like a ton, ton of bricks on us. And every kid, if up until we were about fucking 12 or 13, thought he was going to drop a ton of bricks on us. Because I, I remember me friend turning around saying, oh my God, I thought that was literal. Like when we, back then, when he said that over the intercom, like it stuck with a lot of us. And we were like, oh no, I thought he was going to like, we're picturing the tractor, we're picturing the fucking scoop on the JCB, flipping. And the ton of terracotta bricks coming down on the oh top God, of the lot Just, it was just so literal. Uh, in fourth year, I had to do art and I was very bad at it, so the teacher hated me. My mom went into the teacher meetings. She was delighted. Every teacher said, with what every teacher said, uh, I was doing well until she got to the art teacher. As my mom sat down, the teacher just started, no need to sit. This will be a quick one. Oh! oh, oh my God. I hate Amy and I don't want her in my class. That did not happen. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. No, I, no, I believe you, but like fucking hell, I can't believe that happened. Um, uh, my ma went apeshit. She got the principal involved and he, and wanted me moved to a different teacher. But the school was tiny, so there was no chance. I thankfully dropped art after first year, but I had the same teacher in third year for CSPA. She used to stand right behind me and call out to the class everything I spelt. Every time, every time I spelt a word wrong. I'm 27 now, and my ma still regularly speaks about how much she hates that woman. Yeah, well, that's traumatizing. Absolutely, so Absolutely would I. Absolutely traumatizing. Why pick, why pick on that person? But also art is such a kind of like it's either for you or it's not. Oh yeah. So you wouldn't take it so personally. No, I I can't understand why she, she said no need to say I hate Amy. That's bizarre. That's ridiculous. I hate it. I hate it. Fucking hell. Um third year maths teacher was new to the school and was awful. Didn't have a clue how to do the maths himself. Neither never mind explain it to us. My mother sits down in front of him and says my name. Obviously he hadn't bothered to try and learn our names and couldn't tell who I was. He started saying how I am a great student and I should expect an A in higher level for the junior. My mum stares at him blankly and is like, is this the same daughter who just got 13% in her mock? <laughs> And I have grinds because she fails every test this year. He doesn't even try and apologise. He brushed it off and changes the conversation to cattle. Something he actually could just string a sentence about. Oh. <laughs> She's brilliant. She just failed her mocks. She may, she may be not that brilliant. <laughs> he did not understand the assignment. He, and he, he didn't compile any sort of analysis oh. before he went into that. I love it. Uh, my daughter is getting her Holy Communion a few years ago. I 100% don't believe in all of that, but our dad does, so... Went in for the parent-teacher meeting and her teacher said to me the usual and then he said, and are you okay with the, her receiving communion? And I said, yeah. Asked a few parents where they asked the same thing and they said no. Said it to my mum in front of my child and she piped up because, oh yeah, that's because I told him you don't believe in God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, very good. So she needed the consent. Clearly. To inhale the communion. To inhale the communion. Yeah. Um... When I was seven, my grandparents brought me back a monkey scissors, which I brought to school. A girl insisted it wasn't real and asked me to cut her hair, which I did. Two big fangs on her forehead three weeks before our communion. Teacher asked to see my mom and I lied and I said she was sick. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my mum can't come in. She's sick. Yeah. Imagine like from an eight year old, you'd be like, is the she? Is it? Is she? Yeah. Um, I was usually so good in school, but terrified of being in trouble. And then, of course, parent teacher meeting happened and I got caught rapid. To make it worse, a couple of years ago, she posted a pic of said haircut on Facebook and she tagged me. I found myself having to apologize to her mum, who was who commented like 30 years later. That haircut is infamous. Oh, well, see, you were part of the memory. So I would say you just you you know? did something cool. Uh, when I was in second class my mum went to my parent teacher meeting thinking it was going to be a regular check in when she got there my teacher informed her in a bit of a worried way that I was struggling with all of the alphabet and still couldn't do it at all I would spell out the words saying A for apple etc oh phonetically yeah uh, this prompted my mum t- having to spend all the, sum- all the summer trying to get me to get the alphabet into my tick school some people just learn differently, though. You learned it. You learned the phonetic alphabet. Yeah. You would have been great on the the hotlines and the helplines and all that. Exactly. Yeah. A for apple. A for tango. Yeah. You were like, yeah, I'm putting it in. Good. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm a teacher. Yes. Yes. 
And because of COVID, parent-teacher meetings are now online. What's important to note is the system used requires parents to schedule their meetings with whatever teachers they want in advance. After X amount of time, the opportunity to do that closes. If the parent hasn't registered to meet with teacher Y, then they won't get a parent-teacher meeting with that teacher unless they arrange via phone call or whatever. Anyway, kids' parents says to me last week at the parent-teacher meeting, here, can you tell me how do I use this, the software, to meet teachers A, B, C, etc.? He, his kid, told me I was only able to visit four teachers and the only four teachers available were for his practical subjects, tech, metalwork, etc. And that the other teachers wouldn't be at the parent-teacher meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I love that ad, don't they? Just the, just them. Um, they couldn't make it. They couldn't make it. No, Matt's Irish, Inc. nah, they don't do it. <laughs> It's not important enough. Anyway, <laughs> so I explained to the parent that no, that no, the opportunity was given to register with all of the child's teachers, etc. Basically, long story short, his kid knew he was going to be receiving a less than ideal report in his other subjects, told his dad that only his practical teachers would be available in the hopes of getting 20 quid off him for getting good reports. Ah, gee, it's the end like of the incentive. I like that. Yeah, it is. It's real like, oh, no. But also, don't believe your kids. Never. <laughs> they're the worst. No. Yeah. and But they're the worst lawyers as well. You kind yeah. of have to laugh at them. Like, yeah. Uh, not exactly a school report, in brackets, was made into one jokingly. My friend's grand passed away and they live next door. So my mom said I could have a few days off school to keep her company and that. I was in first year and we lived on the main street around the corner from the school. I was standing at my, my front door and with my dad and I seen off... One of my teachers and innocently said to my dad, that's my English teacher. But as the teacher walked past, my dad goes full on dad mode. You should uh, you should not be mitching from school. You are so grounded, all this kind of thing in front of my teacher. I was Marto and he wrote into my uh and he wrote into my next report, need to get a better at being on the Mitch from school. Dad was delighted with himself. Love the pod. Oh Isn't that a cute little that's story? Cool. That's cool. That teacher's cool. Yeah. That's a cool teacher. Yeah. Oh, another teacher. Yay. Um, hey, girls, love the podcast. Recently joined Patreon to help with the work commute. I'm a secondary school teacher and you're always guaranteed some things will happen at a parent-teacher meeting. Uh, number one, the kid who was a little shit in class and never did any work, their parents never show up. Oh. oh. Two, the parents with the children in first year showed up with the sole purpose of wishing to hear their child was a sweet angel, rejecting the notion that their child might have possibly been spawned from Lucifer himself. Was that my mother by any chance? Yeah. Um, that's three. Tough. Yeah. Uh, the kids with teacher parents would come in and dictate to you how you should be teaching their son daughter because they were always quote unquote gifted. And four, you would have the odd angel parents who totally accepted everything that you said and were so, so lovely. Lastly, you had the parents who brought their child with them, sat them down and made them listen. Oh, oh so it's oh so that's oh. not good for you guys i thought that would okay apologies bad suggestion right. okay yeah um report cards if a boy ever got quote a pleasure to teach he ended up gay which is what happened to me <laughs> <laughs> teacher meetings one that sticks out in my mind uh, i was about to sit down with my mom at my PE teacher's table. Okay, so he was at his mum's one. Uh, before my arse even hit the chair, he said, don't even bother. Oh. I was gobsmacked. Funny thing is, he taught my mum and dad as well. I was shy of PE and so were they. Must be a family thing. Good on my mum though, because when he said that, she said, ah, still a miserable cunt I see. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <Finn> Barn, what <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, That's I love it. That's fucking amazing. Respect to your yeah. parents. Respect. That's brilliant. Um, oh my god! I swear, my teachers just ticked all the excellent boxes on the report cards without even thinking. Every year in primary, I got an excellent in art and PE. I can't draw, and I never ran, so not a competitive bone in my body either. So it wasn't like I was trying to be the best of the best here. Also, anyone that I know that got the comment, a pleasure to teach, is now stars mentally ill stars. It's like we thought that we had to live up to the expectations of being a pleasure to be around. I got crippling anxiety to go with that. So mm-hmm. same for that, teachers. Yeah. That's true. Um, I think we'll read out one more and then we'll have to end it there because we're reaching time, guys. Reach. Uh, in second class, my teacher wrote my on my report card that I needed to that I needed to be assessed as she was sure there was something wrong with me. At the parent teacher meeting, she then told her I should be taken to a psychiatrist slash psychologist, especially before I make my first Holy Communion. It was a very Catholic school where the priest would come into every class every morning. Uh, I'm not sure why, considering I hadn't suddenly changed my personality between the ages of fourth class and sixth. In secondary school, my Irish teacher blatantly flirted with my mum with the 
uh, with me sitting there awkward the next day in class called me after and said he had such a lovely time talking to her and to give her his contact details if she ever needed him your school sound shit what <sighs> skills did you go to? We should probably have a fucking target list. <laughs> yeah, you should, you should <laughs> probably these. revisit them. Let's avoid these skills, please, people. Um, I have a funny one that I want to finish on. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, hey, girls, love the pod. So not mine, but my brother's. From day one of starting secondary school, he was an absolute legend. I love that. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? He was a little bollocks. Yeah. That's what that means. Um, my poor mum's heart. Anyway, on the weekly, he gets suspended. Anyway, my mum was dragged in once again for a meeting when he was in fifth year and sat my mum down with a huge file and on in this was all the detention, suspension and complaints. Wow. So if that wasn't bad enough, they then called my brother in and read out just three reasons for why he was getting suspended. They are as following. <laughs> on the first day of school, he gave the teacher the finger. Oh, yeah. Uh, my brother's response was she shouldn't have turned around. What? If you were the teacher, you would want to knock them. I would actually. I, I actually think I would knock the bollocks out. I'd be like, "See, you little yeah, shit! I'll you see you behind the fucking bike shed, fuck, huh? Yeah, I will yeah. fucking wipe that off your face, yeah. little box." <laughs> uh, number two, laughing at a teacher's hairy armpits. Right, juvenile, but respectable. Yeah. Uh, and number three, saying to a teacher, "It's a bit nippy in here." <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! That teacher accused him of saying, "I can see your nipples." Uh, he, to date, holds the most detentions and suspensions in the school, and he's very proud of that title. Is he? Is he? Is he uh, by any chance changed? Or Is he the same? Is there a bit of toxic masculinity about him still? Is he okay? <laughs> Is he? Has he grown up? Is he all right? We want to know. Is he okay? Um, before we go, I'll do. I have an unpopular opinion. Do you want to hear it? Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. Adele is back. Oh, sh- oh, you don't like her. I do not like her. Her music or her? I just don't get the fucking hype about any of it. To be honest, like everybody lost there. Shit. Yeah, I don't personally I don't think she has the kind of music that I'd lose shit over. Do you get me? I think she's I think she's like a Celine Dion. She like It's like she's great a- ballads, we get it, but I'm I'm not singing her tunes. No. And then as well, like Easy on me came out the other day and like there was so many teasers for it and it was all just it was a lot. Everybody was talking about it and it was like I'm just gonna like I'll be in me under me duvet all day listening to Adele. Now I, I would imagine I called her Adele there. Uh, I'd imagine if I was in a certain type of place in my life, I would be creaming myself over Adele. I just find it all very depressing. Do you know it's just not very inspiring to me? It's not my kind of thing. No, I love her. It, she's a fantastic voice. Don't get me wrong. She's like I'm not like I'm not one to judge anybody singing anyway. I just I don't get it. Like everybody was losing their shit And I feel like she's a bit <coughs> overhyped She's a bit overhyped I just don't get, She's not one bit exciting she, Like she looks great She's doing great for herself You know she's very successful Very fucking play to her I just I'm not into it I don't get it I don't get it Yeah I like her I really like her Her interviews are hilarious I think she's a very funny person she se- Yeah she seems sound um, like You know Like I think one of the standout moments for Adele Is when she did Um Promise this as her song in the BBC Live Lounge, and she was like, oh, "I love Cheryl Cole. I don't care what anybody says." Oh yeah, was and poor Cheryl Cole has never been able to recover or sing that song again. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Is this the Hallelujah? Was that the yeah. Yeah, 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 she did that. Yeah. Um, I was like, "Why?" Yeah, she's just she's she's cool. Yeah, no, and she's she funny. Mm-hmm. Her personality doesn't match her music. No, but then everyone's like, "I get it," because it's like the songs are really well written. Yeah. And they're nicely composed, but it's just not my kind of music. No. I liked Rolling in the Deep, and that's the only song I think I liked her. I didn't even like when she came out with Chasing Pavements. I remember being like, This is not my bag at all. No. And people were going wild for it. And I remember being like, Again, I don't get this at all. No. She's a great singer, but it's not my. There bored. is just those people that you're like, This yeah. is not my kind of thing. Sapphire to the Rain was about, it was a good one. Um, But when it got turned into like a dance version, I preferred it. Yupa. Yupa. Yes, though, on the mix. Left Fire to the Rain was made into, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But it was like, no, I just don't get it. When I heard everybody was like, I got it, I was like, calm down. It's so boring. Kill the Jets gang. Yeah. 
and it's bound to be overplayed. Yeah. Again, Fair. like chasing pavements. I just, I will switch the channel. Don't do it. I'll switch the channel. Jen will be the one person to switch the channel. Adele will never recover. No, she, exactly. She won't. She won't. So that's Gavin James. Yeah. Jeremy Kennedy. Yeah. Sam's me. Yeah. Adele. She's I'm been, starting to get she's a. She's been added on. I'm starting to get a feel for the kind of person you are. It's, it's the ballads for me. Ballads for you. Westlife. Gone as well. Okay. Uh, speaking of music, <laughs> did you like that? <laughs> Lead in. Lead in. Oh we got a little stamp for the week. I know. I know. I know. Carla's Stomper of the Week We're going old school Oh again? It came on my playlist and I was like a bop NSYNC Girlfriend It's sexy It's a sexy song from the guys Yeah Yeah That's yeah. sexy It is it's a se- Do you remember on the cars? That was when they were kind of getting They were working with Pharrell and the Neptunes Yeah 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 Um, And it was just it is sexy. And like the, the routine, and it was just getting a bit more like, oh, and sync are men. They were getting, I was going to say, they were growing up a bit. They were starting to have mm-hmm. sex. Yeah. You know, they were having sex for a good time. Do you know what I mean? Do, it was like, do, oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Would you be my girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that was the turning point. Girlfriend for Justin Bieber was the real, like, Justin oh, Timber. he's. No, for Justin Bieber. His girlfriend song also was a kind of turning That's point. That's a bop grew up that's a fucking bop like that was the first video that i looked to him and i was like oh sweat sweat oh you <laughs> yeah it's like i'm i'm attracted you were to like, justin oh! beaver he's 18 in this i yeah. don't give a shit <laughs> i was like oh i mm, oh, I'm, oh where have you been <laughs> oh, where, right. where did you a come few from tattoos i see yeah yeah exactly a few tattoos you've grown up haven't you it's the old girlfriend um it's them. but yeah that was that was just a bop everything mm. about it very cool yeah very like a turn of the NSYNC kind of yeah you know that's when again they were getting tattoos yeah they were getting tattoos around that point they all what were. is it with those lads and tattoos and the song girlfriend and, and song up. girlfriend and growing yeah. up I don't know uh thanks a million for listening uh we hope you enjoyed I'm gonna pull up pictures of my reports during the week because I know that I can easily access them um and we're gonna go and record our page on yeah on about? the purge if Ireland had a purge what would you do if Ireland had a purge and if you don't know what that means it means if all crime was legal for 24 for 24 hours. motherfucking hours yeah thanks <laughs> I'm uh, not sure what I'd do I don't, we'll I'm about in, to go record this we'll, we'll get into it in the episode I feel like the responses that we got though because our Patreons are on our close friends on Instagram uh, it's a very secret way you have to get on to another incredible benefit <laughs> It was the face you made when you said that. <laughs> that was incredible. Did you like that? Um, yeah, so we have separate boxes for those people. And so we have a good few responses. I'm looking forward to getting into them. But anyway, for this episode, thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.